we have a global footprint. We have uh, research engineers in Mezela Metz campus, but also in Asturias in Spain and East Chicago in the USA. The scope of mining R&D in technical marketing is global. We operate all the way through the value chain from our assets, our mines, which are located globally, all the way through to our customers, our end users of our product. We provide solutions to our mining businesses um, through innovation, through process improvement and through knowledge creation. And with our customers, we actually run test work program to try and find efficiencies to ensure that we're realising maximum price for our products. If we look at the portfolio of mining research and development, we're involved in, I would say, four main areas. Characterisation, which is including metallurgical characterisation to understand what, uh, what our products are and what they consist of. We also have a team that looks at beneficiation and process improvement and their task is to understand what type of equipment we need and the best flow sheet or the best model in order to be able to reduce capex and also opex for that business. We have a sustainable mining laboratory which is tasked with looking at tailings management and waste management which is an essential part of, uh, of our business model. And increasingly we're looking at digitisation and industry 4.0 and the deployment and use of technology in our business to engage and generate efficiencies in our business. Within the mining R&D and technical marketing area, we have very skilled people. They are typically very highly educated. They come through the university system, either as bachelors, masters, or PhDs. They come from a wide variety of disciplines, but primarily in the areas of geology, metallurgical engineering, uh, mineralogy, and they actually work in those areas to help us liberate efficiencies for our stakeholders. One of the major challenges within ArcelorMittal mining, and therefore for mining R&D, is that we have a very global footprint for our operations. We have mines in Canada, Mexico, Bosnia, in the Ukraine, Brazil. So we are very diversified with our portfolio. There are mines in other areas as well. So finding solutions for those customers, uh, for those stakeholders, is not a one-size-fits-all solution. We actually have to work with those customers specifically and determine what we have to do with those customers. So we can't just take a one aspect and apply it to everything, although we try to do that but generally we end up with trying to solve problems that are unique to that asset. Our objective is really to provide solutions to our stakeholders. Our stakeholders are our minds on one side and our customers on the other side. For our minds, we want to work with them to understand problems that they have, to liberate value in terms of volume, in terms of cost, in terms of efficiency gains, by deploying new technologies to their operation or new knowledge to their operation. For our external customers, uh, customers in Asia for example, customers in North America, we actually have the unique ability to take from our steel knowledge base and work with our external customers to ensure that we're getting maximum value for our products. And we do that through a range of collaborative test work, whether it be sinterpot test work, whether it be microscopy, through mineralogical characterisation of our products. We actually work with our customers to understand how we can maximise the value of those products. Oh, we have a unique ability to bring steelmaking and ironmaking expertise to our customers. We sit in a research and development organisation that uh, has expertise in ironmaking research, in steelmaking research, in sintering and in coke making research. We can actually leverage off that knowledge to provide solutions for our customers with our own raw materials. And we do that. The mining R&D function and the steelmaking R&D functions are becoming more and more closely aligned. There are programs that we are working on at the moment which look at, for example, high wear um, and high strength steel deployment within the mining industry, which is a key area for Arcelmittal Steel that wants developing. And so we can provide uh, the basis for which they can test and develop their products within the mining industry. 